You know, mules have a pretty rich history in Idaho. There's Jesus Urquides, who became well known for his pack train capabilities in the early days of the Idaho Territory, once taking 10,000 pounds of copper wire to chalice by wrapping it all around 35 mules. Well, to today, with those who use mules to head in, mules that is, to head into the backcountry for some Idaho adventures. Heck, there's even a local coffee company who will deliver you some cold brew by mule trailside while you're hiking the Boise foothills. So it stands to reason this bond with these beasts of burden goes back a few years, much like the 23rd annual Select Mule Sale, the Salmon Select Mule Sale, or basically the length of time it took me to get to the point of the story. Okay, so the mule sale and the horse sale was this past weekend in, you guessed it, salmon of all places. Yep, Friday was dedicated to the mules. And to highlight the animals, they showcased everything, their skills in the arena, and they also showcased their speed with a flat out mule race. And here they come down the stretch. Yes, they get after it, don't they? And the judges, they better get away from it. Watch how close they get to the judges. Step aside. No word on the moniker of the mule who won that race, but we all know it was the fans in the stands who won, right? The fans, mule fans, were the real winners here, other than those sitting in that cloud of dust. And as much as we would like to label that video as something that is so Idaho, it wasn't nearly as Idaho as this five-second clip recorded by Russ Stoddard. Simply titled, Salmon Idaho. So Idaho. Did you see it? Here, we'll show it again. Look at this. Oh, there it went. Wait. Here it comes. All right, let's, let's, let's break this down. We have a late 90s Dodge Ram pickup truck, right? Check. Perfect two-tone paint job on that thing. We have two cowboys in the car, in the cab, who seem very comfortable with the situation they're in right now. Oh, yeah, the mule standing in the back, tethered to the utility rack in the back there. Yep, perfectly fine. And then there's this other very good boy in the back as well, the cow dog. He's got his cowboys in the cab, his equine buddy in the back with him. He's very content with what is going on right now. And again, so Idaho. Everything about that. Everything about that five second clip is just mm, chef's kiss, so I know. By the way, there were 110 horses sold at the Salmon Select sale. High seller was a beautiful gypsy vanner gelding for $52,000. As for the mules, 55 of those were sold. Highest price paid, $49,000. Pretty impressive.